Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Football with Priscilla. I am Priscilla, so hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, finally, the football season has closed. Um, we had the UEFA Champions League that was played yesterday. And unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, really. Fortunate, okay, no. It's unfortunate for me because I had said and I believed Liverpool would win. But unfortunately, because my prediction didn't go so well. But... Fortunately, um, Madrid won because then Liverpool fans won't make noise for the rest of us. So, yeah, it's a bittersweet kind of situation. So, obviously, yesterday the um, Champions League final was played and Liverpool lost to Real Madrid. How? I don't know. Um, I was having a conversation with my friend after the game and he brought up something very interesting. He was like, yo, um, he had said... Um, Actually, he had said what I was thinking. Um, when uh, when I was watching the game, like around the seventh and ninth minute, um, I remember what's this guy's name. Vinicius Junior had was um had passed um Trent Alexander Arnold, and I remember like just like saying it under my breath and like just going like hmm. You know, if a boy is going to come from Real Madrid, it's going to come from Vinicius Junior because Trent Alexander Arnold is not the best defender. He's so good at going forward that he leaves his back line open. So I said it, I was like, mm, you know, a goal might come from there. And funny enough, my friend also said the same thing. He was like, yo, before that, like before Real Madrid scored, I said it, I was like, yo, um, Trent Alexander-Arnold is going to cost Liverpool a goal because of how Vinicius Jr. was running at him. And the bad part is that I think, um, I don't know why they removed Henderson because I feel like Henderson was covering or could have been covering Trent whenever he goes forward and Vinicius Jr., you know, um, tries to, what, go past Trent Alexander-Arnold. So, yeah, there was that. But overall, that game really was boring. I, I I wasn't like I was watching something else as I was watching the game and it wasn't as entertaining as most European Champions League games are. Um Liverpool was pressing obviously as usual, but for some reason they failed to just connect as the forward line. Asala, Mane, Diaz, Osala, Mane, Firmino. Yeah. So Liverpool failed to connect the, the four line wasn't in sync and it was it was very hard for them to score um their midfield i think their midfield was strong tiago and henderson were okay their back line was okay i just feel like liverpool play a very high line sometimes like a very very high line very high back line and then um madrid like, till today honestly um i don't know how madrid just manages to win the champions league like if it's this one Madrid don't like okay. I feel like for me Madrid's um key is its midfield. Now I know the midfield has um Modric and Modric is like old, but he's like he's reached that age where he's no longer he doesn't have the pace to um go forward and also manage to come back to cover up the back line and everything. Um but what Modric has in his locker is he will release a pass here and there. And so the one who was mostly covering up was Casemiro. Um, he was at least trying to hold the, the back line and everything. So my um Madrid's um midfield is the key for me, I believe, to Madrid's success. Obviously, there's Kieran Benzema and uh, Vinicius Junior, but like Madrid's tactic is only one thing: get the ball to Benzema or get the ball to Ven Vinicius Junior. And let the two do something. I don't know why other people haven't gotten that idea. Like close off Vinicius Jr. And close off uh, Benzema as much as you can. And Madrid won't go anywhere. But hey, I'm not a coach. Um, What else? Courtois. I believe Courtois saved them. Like he made a lot of saves. Okay, just let's just be honest. It wasn't Liverpool's night. Um, the game, the the balls that the, they were referring to, the balls they were referring to score yesterday on another day on a, another day Liverpool would have scored those goals. So yeah, um, 
I think that's all I had to say about the Champions League. It was interesting, but then again, it was boring. I just wanted to see who would win it in the end. And I, I think we can safely say that Madrid deserves it. I mean, they beat PSG, they beat Chelsea, and they beat Man City. Liverpool had quite, um, not such, not so much of the difficult ride towards the final. But I was very disappointed. That's not the Liverpool that I know. Um, the Liverpool that I know is a different kind of animal so i was very disappointed with that how they played consider considering the fact that they had time maybe the them losing the premier league played on their minds or something i don't know but yeah i was very disappointed with liverpool i expected more intensity i expected them to actually um make madrid um actually to i expected them to play better than they played yesterday so yeah um Breaking news, Mane is leaving Liverpool. I am so shocked. Like, I know I've been hearing rumors of Salah trying to leave, obviously, and he, and the contract signing and the money. But Mane, I never thought Mane would leave Liverpool. And um, Fabricio Romano has, has, has um, talked about Mane wanting to leave. And it looks like other sources are also confirming that news. So Mane, Liverpool fans, is leaving. Like, that is so sad. I can't imagine a Liverpool without Sergio Mane. With that said, I think he, he has been a very good asset to Liverpool. That's if he will leave anyway. But if, if he doesn't leave, good for Liverpool. If he leaves, it's going to be very bad because he's been a very good asset. And for me, frankly, Mane has been one of the best African players we've seen so far. Like, for me, Mane or Salah, I'm more afraid of Mane. Salah is a more so go left, cut in, score kind of player. But Mane, Mane is, I feel, I, I, I feel like Mane is more versatile as opposed to Salah. So for me, between the two, I've always preferred um, Mane. So it's going to be a big loss for um, Liverpool. I think that's it for today. So it was a very short video. Just a little recap on the Champions League final as well as some transfers that I have heard of that have shocked me. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you share, like. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.